The Fun Hole Lakeside Lodge is an absolutely beautiful build. This log cabin, filled to the brim with details, comes with its own lighting kit, making the set something that can be enjoyed not only during the day, but it also brings the warm ambience of a lakeside cabin at night. Let's take a look. In this video, we're gonna be doing a review of the Fun Hole Lakeside Lodge building set. Welcome back to New Brickerton. This video is sponsored by Fun Hole. <sighs> well, not exactly sponsored, but they did send me this set to review. I was not paid a cent to say nice things about this product, but let me tell you guys, that is not gonna be an issue for me because this build is absolutely incredible. Not only did it provide me hours of satisfying building entertainment, but this set, a fully modular log cabin with a level of detail that, in my opinion, rivals the Crater Expert Modular Building Series from LEGO, includes not only 1,969 pieces, but also a built-in lighting kit that is absolutely beautiful. And this thing clocks in at just 109 US dollars. With all the recent news about LEGO raising its price as well, you guys may wanna take a look at some sets like this. This price is already great, but if you use the discount code and the special links in the description, you can get 10% off on Hole's website and Amazon. So make sure you guys don't miss out on that awesome deal. We're gonna do a full review of this set. I'll talk to you about the build process and give you a full tour of this building. As always, you can use the chapter markers down below and in the description to navigate through the video to your heart's content. Stick around, click around, do whatever. Let's go. If you haven't heard of them, Funhole is a company who prides itself on creating not just building brick sets, but they refer to themselves as the first dedicated brand of lighting construction bricks, meaning all of their sets contain a lighting kit. I know there are a lot of people out there who are really into lighting up their Lego modular buildings and Lego cities with aftermarket lighting kits, and the idea of a build coming with the lights as a part of the product is never something that I'd really considered. They have three sets currently available on their website at the time of filming, but I cannot wait to see what else they have in store because from what I've seen so far, it all looks incredibly high quality. The lighting kit in this set is certainly a wow factor and it instantly makes this building one of the coolest in my collection because I don't have any other lights. The thing that makes this set really great is that they instruct you on how to install the lighting kit as you go rather than going back and doing it at the end the way many people would with an aftermarket lighting kit for a Lego set. Now, let's talk about the bricks themselves. Funhole bricks have a quality that is closer to Lego level quality than any other set I've ever seen. I know that's a hot take, but you'll have to give it a shot yourself to find out if I'm right. The build process itself was fun and satisfying. The packaging itself is very nice and honestly, every single part of this product oozes quality. If you don't believe me yet, they include an individually packaged brick separator and this set of tweezers. I think the tweezers are meant to help with maneuvering the wires, um, which it is useful for that and for applying the stickers. But I also found that when I dropped a one by one stud into a small space, using these tweezers was much easier than using my fat, ugly fingers. I don't know why I wrote that in the script. I'll definitely be keeping those tweezers around though because they are super useful. The Funhole Lakeside Lodge is built in a mills fashion, essentially, which allows it to have this nice change in elevation between the water and the hillside, and it also helps with the wiring, allowing some of the wires to run underneath the house and uh, through the dirt. <laughs> the build is jam-packed with some small details on both the inside and out. Let's go ahead and start talking about the build, starting from the outside. As you can see, the Lakeside Lodge is indeed just that, a beautiful cozy cottage with all the trappings of a forest cabin. We've got leaves of all colors littering the roof, plants and rock pieces adorning the forest floor, as well as the edge of the lake shoreline here with a dock for fishing. With the lighting on, we have some exterior lights here coming naturally from the ambient house lights, but also from some additional lights on the tree and in the water. One really cool feature is the light up campfire, which can be used to cook fish on the spit, rotisserie style. The interior lights give us some glimpses of the cozy cottage from the outside, and honestly, I really just wanna go in there. So let's go ahead and dive into the interior, guys. 
Going through the front door brings us into the living room, and let me just say, this interior is just great. There's a retro style TV with a sticker piece, a couch, a grandfather clock, and on the wall behind the couch, we've got the fisherman's gear hanging up with a fishing vest, a hat, and some boots. We've got some interior lights in both the front and back of the living room, and through the doorway is the kitchen, which boasts some additional lights and classic kitchen amenities, such as the sink, blender, and this shelf with some ketchup and mustard. A ladder swings down into the living room, which will allow you to climb up into the bedroom on the second floor. The second floor is completely detachable, and thanks to this two by one brick with these electrical contacts in it, there's no need to mess with the wiring to remove the second floor, which I thought was super cool. Once you put it on and fully attach it, you can see the lights turn on. The second floor features a really nice bed, a desk with a working lamp, a chair, a working fireplace, and an exit to the balcony. The roof is fully removable. There's this little space over here, but it's not very useful for much of anything except for storage. I imagine if you had this as your lake house in real life, you'd have some floaties up there, maybe some life vests, canoe, stuff like that. And finally, now the instruction book. Let me tell you some of the things that I love from this book that I would love to see implemented in Lego instructions. We start with some beautiful renders of the Lakeside Lodge and some nice descriptions of the product and fun hole itself. We've got some advanced instructions about how to install the lighting kits, some do's and don'ts, instructions on how to use the brick separator and the tweezers to install stickers, and finally, the page of all pages, the analogous colors list. It shows photography of the actual bricks next to the way they're printed in the instructions. If you've ever put together a Lego set with multiple shades of a similar color, especially brown, you know how useful this is. Lego has got to implement this in their books. And another thing I really like about this instruction booklet is how it labels each piece with the stud length um, so it's easy to tell at a quick glance if you need a one by three, a one by four, a one by six. Um, the instructions also have progress indicators that help to keep you informed on your progress along the way. Otherwise, I'd say the instructions are very similar visually to Lego. Now, finally, before we go, any cons? I'll tell you what, the only issue I have with this set is that while the pieces are incredibly high quality and feel great to build with, they bind together incredibly tightly. I found it really difficult to separate two plates from each other, even with the attached brick separator. Um, but if you build accurately, this won't be an issue for you. The other thing is, there's no back wall to this set, which you'd usually expect to see that as a play element, but this set didn't come with any minifigures to play with. So I just didn't quite understand that. I felt that an interesting decision, but if you've seen some of my other videos, you know that good looking minifigures are very hard to come by. I'm sure it takes a lot of development money for these companies. Um, so I wonder if Funhole just dumped all that money into focusing on their bricks and lighting kits to keep the cost down. And if so, I definitely approve. I don't have a whole lot of bad things to say about this set. So I was editing this video and I realized I never really showed off the actual uh, ins and outs of how the whole lighting system works. So what I'll show you guys, you got this little battery box here. It's got the fun hole logo on it. And that's where your little switch is. You switch that on and off. And uh, this takes three AA batteries. Got my high V batteries in there. All the wires in the build come out to one central location, which is right here on the build. You can see I haven't really done much to uh, manage my wires. I'm gonna have to uh, do a little bit more uh, cable management on this and then all the wires run into this little uh, box here. That's how it powers it. Um, and then there is another one of these things. This has a this has an adhe adhesive on it that you can adhere to the side of the build. So that probably is how I will manage all the cables. There's another one of these strips on the inside attached to the ceiling, which uh, has all the wires from upstairs. But yeah, so then just a final just so you can see a full 360 degree view of this build. And then what I'll probably do is I'll probably hide this box somewhere in the Lego city around this. I mean, you could easily hide it in the landscape. You could build another mills plate next to it and hide all these wires underneath. Um, so that may be what I'll do. 
That was a quite a mouthful, guys. If you couldn't tell, I truly did have a good time building this set. It was very satisfying, providing me hours of entertainment. Thank you to everyone who hung out with me live on stream as I worked on this build, and I've got a lot of exciting stuff coming soon. As always, if you like this video, guys, like it, dislike it, subscribe, don't, I, I don't care. Make sure you just consider whether or not you want some more juicy content like this video right here, and uh, make your decision based on that. Thank you, Funhole, for reaching out to me for making an awesome product. Feel free to hit me up again. Um, that's it for me, you guys. Thank you for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Peace! One more thing I forgot to mention, guys. I do feel like a I do feel like an electrician now. I feel like an electrician. I just I just wired my own house, guys. It's time to uh, it's time to do that in real life. You know what I mean? Like,